All right, folks, we're back and with an unexpected midday episode of Hardcore Vanilla Minecraft. I'm Habage, and I'm glad you decided to drop by. Let's uh, see what we've got now that we have difficulty in Minecraft. Always had it, always will. Um, thanks, everybody, who's been... Uh, been following along here in our tow or toehold on eternity world been a good uh good little get-go here we're about 20 episodes in a little more than that i think and um uh, yeah not off to a bad start really now I, I have to be careful saying that it's a little scary um but it looks like we're starting another episode with a day wrapping up so let's head on downstairs we had gotten all this polished deep slate, and we've got some uh, shovels ready to go. And as we talked about at the end of the last episode, that was uh, kind of by design. We want to... Um, lay out our farming area. <laughs> wow, did you hear that? Uh, our farming area today, so that'll be good. Um... Get a feel for where everything is. Now we're we're more interested in the moment as um, cows and chickens because w what we really want to get done is some XP farming. I'm just trying to get a feel. So this this is one level up from where we want to be, and we had kind of mapped out the tree as an outer edge. Now we have a little bit of wiggle room there, not a, not a ton, and we had um, counted in a little bit extra. But let's just hold to that, it seems um, fatey. So again, now we just have to reset a little bit to know what we're starting at. So we're starting at 62. We want to go, we want to have about six blocks on this side for a wall. Um, probably a double row of chests, so that's three. And then enough room to finish each row as we're moving up and down. So six gives us a pretty good... Um, stretch and conveniently that's uh it's just like our normal uh mining section so now from negative 67 we want to go another 64 blocks right that's going to be the length of our field so uh we're looking there at going up to negative 130 right uh, negative 60 and negative 60 is uh, negative 120 and then add in the extra 4 um, uh, to the 6. So there you go. Math with Habbage. Um, so rather than having to count all this out, what we'll try to do is watch for holes. We also have a lake we will probably pour down on top of ourselves at some point. Getting close to lake area, but or the pit that swallows us up. There's our lake. We knew it was a matter of time. Apologies for the debug screen there, but I think it's uh, more trouble to fool with it um, than just get these things done. We'll pop of air while we're thinking about it. Oop. 
always fun to be uh, dealing with elevated lakes where you know you're just going to have to dig them back out again. I say that. Full sarcasm in case you didn't catch it. That's not the most enjoyable activity in Minecraft for me. I don't know about you guys, but... So yeah, I don't know. I may get uh, may get a double episode in um, what I thought I had uh, going on for the mid afternoon time cleared up. So I've actually got a couple hours here. Uh, we'll see how they go, how the loading and all the stuff in between plays out. But at least for the time being, clear. In there. Let's cut some of this down. Get a little more light back in here. How fast that day's going. That's ridiculous. Already past noon. Uh, we're thinking, let's get these two swapped. there. That's actually got me one more. Okay, now this was... Let's check that back here. So this is actually 62, and that's what we were counting from, right? 62. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> that that's our six on the end right now we're going to do a full stack this is the actual field length again just outer edge though we're not not worried too much about the crops themselves right, so that was right now we want another um, how much do we have I think we're okay let's just do a six and a six will just help map it out a little bit. Okay, so we've got our field length. Now, we're going to do You see me jump over, cow jumped over the moon, I jumped over the cow. Let's 
So I think what we'll do... Because I don't want to use up all the deep slate. I want to save that for the cattle pens. That's the wrong box. So let's do this and we'll swap. So that should go there. This should go here. Get back up here. So I think whether the fence ends up on the inside or the outside, I think this is going to be our internal edge. Um, let's get here. Begin by marking this. Uh, this is the part I just despise. It's so unnecessary. Come on. All right. All that wasted time. Okay. So, this is the end of our kind of decking station. And again, don't get don't get confused here. This will all be polished blackstone eventually. All I'm trying to do is mark out where the fields will actually sit so we're going to have a boundary on our field um, one of those will be wall either on the outside or the inside depending on where we want our walkways and what we want it to look like so field, 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 field irrigation canal field, 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 field path field, field, field irrigation uh, field, 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 path, path, thought we were done with the dirt. So here's, here's our map. Let's double check it all. So we're going to have water covered with half slabs. That will irrigate all of these fields. We'll have a double row here, just a nice wide path in between. And we'll do the same thing. These eight blocks, or the nine total, all get irrigated out of a single central uh, thing. Double wide path. Another set of fields, and these map out to melons and uh you know, all the crops, carrots, potatoes, um, wheat and beets, um, melons and pumpkins. So once we're, once we're set, we'll have all those crops all grow in here. Um, and that's, that's the main concern. I'm just filling this in because we will need to, but then our, our next main concern is going to be, um, mapping out the outer edge of the rest of that rectangle over on that side behind me. And when we have all that done, we'll uh, be ready to go. Guess that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We'll be ready to go uh, 
lay out the remaining animal pens. And that's what we really want to use the uh, polished blackstone we do have for. Because we want the cows and the chickens to get going here. Then, and only then, I think we'll go back down to the basement. Look for a few more diamonds in the process of gathering up our deep slate, expanding our basement. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this should be the back end coming back around. rest of our happy little deck and I don't care again about the middle it's easier to break the dirt than it is stone but I want it to stand out so just use the cobble that we have here and eventually we'll chop all this out hopefully by that point we will be uh, very well along with Our uh, which we call it? Oh, enchanting and diamonds and everything. All right, so now we are at twenty three forty four. Is our flat number there? Come across to wherever this slot is cut. And now we'll just take this back over to 2344. should, if, if all goes right, should bring us all the way back together in a nice outer rectangle of our entire field area. I was looking at the wrong number. That's all right. That's the side we. That's the side we want to work more anyway. So, not a huge loss, and we were up, up one too high. So it's actually perfect. Couldn't have planned it better myself. I meant to do that. when you kill a glow squid and don't have any space to pick up his loot. I guess the first thing you do is drop a bunch of torches to make sure you don't die. Then you just start using dirt. 
So I'm glad that was uh, that was not more disastrous than it certainly could have been. is having the uh, the debug screen on is not a great helper so I'm doing uh, I'm filling back in that was our so filling back in down to this level I think that will give us uh, enough height up to have double layer underneath anything that we may be working on. Not only that, but it keeps all this this area at a single block, which should keep mobs from spawning in it. How is it nighttime again? Uh, th 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 Let's just, no further incidents, get old routine. question is why is this uh, why did I never connect this back to the right oh uh, okay because we had that marked yeah I forgot I used andesite for that and just got a little bit sloppy all right, look, cow. One, two, three, four, five. Um, wish I had a better marker for that. Okay, <laughs> so there's our our bounding um, of the fields. We could cut through the the six and and kind of fully define the fields, but honestly, I'm not as worried about that at the moment. Let's go momentarily run by home. Drop off some of these random bits. need 
did dirt. <laughs> Leave one. Uh, let's get rid of the flowers. The glow squid ink. Gonna need more shovels. I don't think now. We'll keep one extra cobble, but I don't think we're going to need cobble at the moment. There's that. 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 Seeds, I'm sure we'll end up with more of those. I really think we can get rid of that now. Okay. Now... I think we want to go... One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's count that. with it here to want to shift it one in so that the wall is I think the walls will be here I think I'm okay with this so shall it be What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? You're going to live here. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, just hang out right there. You're perfect. Have a little nap. something very soothing about repetitively uh, gritting out little animal squares. And you can kind of just shut down, listen to the dirt, break, hope that there's no holes underfoot. I was thinking to myself uh, midday today as I was driving around. Uh, you know, we we were running around and we were basically killing time waiting for some of that wheat to grow at the jungle village, right? And I, I stand by. I mean, it's perfectly good use of uh, 
of the materials to take those trap doors and save them, you know, reuse them in a dark room spawner. But I'm sitting there like, for the first time since we've started recording episodes in YouTube, I've got a full-on tree farm ready to go. And this is the first time we've had just so much wood, it's just like an afterthought to go make trap doors. And here's the one where I'm gathering up... Uh, gathering up extra materials. All right. I think that's right. And then just here, 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 here. Yep. Switch that. Okay, now we need, I believe it's 72, if I remember right. Uh, 72 pieces of deep slate wall. Polished deep slate wall. to surround our little animal friends. Come on. Ugh. Oh, wait, I'm trying to polish deep slate wall. Boom. 64 there, and then what's that, eight more? Polish deep slate wall. Uh, we'll come back for the fences. Oh, sleep inside. Because I can't. I haven't in a while. Coffee. Oh, see, I love it. This is the second cup of coffee from hours and hours ago this morning. But it wasn't partially filled, and... Sat nice and warm waiting for me to get home. Good coffee. It's top notch. All right, now getting there. These in particular are just... I know I was like clicking through a lot of the wall placements too. Eh. No biggie. All right, now let's go get gates. Get ready, cow. It's almost time. Go straight. 
retreat to the old reliable here, which is one stack of logs makes one stack of gates. And since we're, I think, fairly early in the day, do that. And we got our bed anyway, right? Get that. That and that go away. That, oh, that can go away. Come on, buddy. Oops. Clean up the little oopsies. set these out for the chickens. Chickens I'm not nearly as worried about for two reasons. Oh, missed lights here by the way. Uh, the first is uh, we don't have as much immediate need for their products. Um, the second is we don't we I want to get up to the point where I have four stacks of seeds to uh, plant the wheat, so feeding a bunch of access to the existing chickens is uh, a bit counterproductive. Well, eventually, that's no problem at all, but until we get there. So, let's try to get as many of the cows as we can try to go beyond and then come back past uh, any that I have. And we'll see how big a hurt we can manage here. Alright, you two. Three. Four. get all these eggs because that's a oh come here <laughs> that is a fine mass of cow hey check out all the other cows you want to come see them you will be a part of the cool cow club Such a nice way to do this. They would have all lost interest in the wheat if I was trying to lead them all that way. So, having the leads, as long as you're not... Now, this could be a problem. Come on in, one at a time. Oh, it broke. <laughs> Good job, cow. Um, one lead on you. Somebody's got another lead. Inside the fence there? Do I, I don't not attach to any of them. I'll have to go hunting for it. Maybe I maybe I lost a cow along the way. 
Okay. Let's get you guys fed. Alright, there's that. Let's see if we can find this lead. There it is. I wondered if it hadn't broken on that one. Feed myself. More cows this way. Just the one. This is tough terrain for leading a cow. Apologies if you guys are getting some background out of the uh, lawnmower dude. Being into August now, they are coming less frequent. There you go. interested now we can try to get them free there we go good old batch of cows as usual the sun is Going down quick. Swap that. And there we go. And quick check of the time, we're at 44 minutes. Not bad at all. And we still have enough that I think next order of business. is wheat. Um, before we before we start diving into the basement, we're going to get one field laid of wheat because we want to be able to actually get chickens going and uh, have enough to continue to feed the cows as we increasingly need more wheat to feed more cows and so on and so forth. We're very soon out of just what we've gathered, so...
Again, kind of wreck. I mean, it's the slowest pace, reckless gameplay you've ever seen, but it is uh, a little bit perilous as we saw falling into that puddle. We uh, could drop into just a massive ravine and be the end of us. Don't want that to happen. So we'll. This is one that would throw us off badly. Now, there is our. I think we want to go with these as the next priority. I, primarily this one, because that's our irrigation ditch, right? So we want to make sure that all those get set so we don't have to break them and try to replace them once we've already got water and crops and everything in there. Big old mess. Same thing will go here. We'll go with a nine. Across the edge of this field. That's actually... It's actually going a little more, but... May work out just about right when we get all said and done. Um, guess we go with the irrigation ditch next. filling in those ponds earlier is uh, nice to have done, but just as you're going back digging out all those blocks, it's like, oh man, did we really have to do all that? some coal eventually out of this whole deal. I would hope so. edges of a field and we will have to go for a more of this I guess because we're going to need oh no 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 why did I do that oh so no help for it either I gotta pull it all back out I was thinking I was over the extra section after we'd laid in those uh, those extra end pieces for the other field. Got ahead of myself. 
Well, this should wrap up our episode now. A big waste of time. Okay, so since we are coming to the end, I'm sure if we're not already over, in the next episode, we will finish up this section, um, get uh, everything over to my right, set up for the wheat, um, depending, well, this should, it should cover us for slabs. I guess. Uh, let's head back inside because we're going to need we'll do a dual water bucket. Speed up that process a little bit. Clean up all this. I don't know, I'm in the wood. Close. is going on uh, so about a half a stack left almost have a half a stack of those we won't need gates for a while we won't need that, and we won't need more of those. Keep one just for general purpose use. Uh, torches. And... More tools. Oh, and the bucket, that's what I was trying to think of. Eventually, we'll want hose as well, but seems like a lot, but I think we'll use them. Leads can go away for now because we're always out from chickens. Fill this bucket. All right. We will reset and be back shortly. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Let's save that up. I know I... Uh, oh, hey, we're, we're sure it'll be about 55 minutes. So that's great. So, uh, yeah, we'll come back. We'll probably dig the two fields worth of dirt. Now that we've got all those shovels, clear all that out. Um, just get that all set and, and visible run the s water into the field and then half slab it get the field hoed and planted then go down and do another section of the basement to get more deep slate so we have at least, at least another row and that will get us uh, the lighting section that we can hang over the top uh, those are the the main priorities that way the wheat's growing all along the way, we can be feeding up the cows. That's the plan. Um, let me know if you have any uh, thoughts or feedback on it, but we'll hopefully have those guys going and ready to um, keep us supplied with XP, most importantly, but leather and meat and all the rest of it, too. And, you know, a couple episodes of laying everything out and 
working on the basement should have us up to our XP where we're ready to uh, get our armor and uh, some of our early tools set up. So that's the plan. Anyway, uh, take care. Have a good break. I'm going to, and uh, we'll see you back here for uh, another one or two trying to get some of this project knocked out um, before we wrap up. So we'll talk to you later.